All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another Sims 4 video. So, uh, let's see, how do I even really talk about this other than I've got bad news for you guys. So, I have been doing, I would say, countless hours of research on the internet, but that's not the case. Okay. I would say I've been doing days of research, but it wasn't that hard. I literally, and I mean literally, went to Google and searched in where my characters went and what happened with The Sims 4. Basically, I came across this page that said that Sims 4 completely bombed and they screwed over this game generally. Royally, whatever you want to call it. I was like, no, I thought it was pretty good. What could possibly go wrong? <sighs> well... Needless to say, the last person in the Family Game Nights crew is Brianna. As you can see, she is already an adult, right? Basically, what happened is my daughter and her friend played The Sims for, I don't know, 10, 15 hours. And, uh, well, during that time, everybody else ages in the world. Even though my daughter and her friends created completely different characters and played... Every other character in The Sims world will continue to age. Well, they played for so long, Bear Ghost, or Mike, Pixie, or Miranda, Valadin, a.k.a. Tyler, have all aged up and passed away. It's very sad, I know. Brianna was the youngest in the family, so she's still alive. Everybody else has moved on. A lot of people in the comments were like, No, Bear, they're just at work. No. No. They're no longer, they're not here guys. They would be down here. They've passed away. They've aged and moved on, right? I'm like, are you freaking serious? I mean, my daughter loves this game. Like, she plays it religiously every night and she likes it. Problem about it is, is it's completely destroyed the game. In order for me to create another family and try and pick this back up again, <laughs> My daughter goes and plays another character, and they're going to age and move on. Okay, so some of the simple things that they've removed in the game are, for example, uh, no modifications to public world. You can't even have normal careers anymore. Like, you can't even be a cop or a medical or business or anything like that. You don't have no open world anymore. You have to have loading screens, which I've noticed. You, there's no more swimming pools. That's why I was building these stupid fountains. They completely took out swimming pools, right? No more terrain tools. Remember how the old Sims used to be able to grab and drag terrains and do all that? Nope, can't do that. No more story progression. That means the Sims in the neighborhoods age, but they don't have children, they don't get jobs, they don't move, they don't get married. They don't do anything without players. And there's no more toddlers, which means as soon as you have a baby, uh, Brianna was playing on her own. A baby just all of a sudden appeared in Bassinet, and after an hour or two, it popped into a into a, a young kid. Completely skips the toddler stage. Um, there's no way to create or place new lots. It's crazy. Um, like, babies are mere objects now. Backgrounds are illusions. Um, the smaller lots. The map is just one-dimensional. Like, you can't even add anything like that anymore. There's no more aliens. The whole point, okay, back in the old Sims, is you would get a telescope, right? And you would search for hours, and all of a sudden aliens would abduct you and take you away to a faraway world and probe you and do all cool stuff. This thing is stupid and pointless now. Aliens are not even in the game anymore. There's no more babysit babysitters. Remember you used to have bartenders? You can hire a bartender and a caterer to come in and cater your parties. Nope. Remember how in the old Sims... You used to be able to call a repairman. Remember how all my stuff was broken? A repairman would go around and change your light bulbs and fix your, your faucets and your toilets and your sinks and everything? Nope, that's gone too. Um, let's see, no more basements, no more bookstores. Uh, let's see, what else is there? Um, no more dinner proposals. No more grocery stores. Um... It's the the list goes on. No more cemeteries. No more uh, cleaning skills. Um, literally, the store the, the list goes on and on and on. No more even party invitations. I mean, it's 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 pretty bad. There's 89 things, and you know this is just my theory. Okay, this is just my theory. Five bucks says that Maxis is going to 
monopolize the expansions. Okay, now don't, this isn't true. This is just my opinion. I'll put five bucks on it that says these guys are going to turn into expansion whores. <laughs> okay. What's going to happen is, is they're going to be like, oh, hey, guys, you guys want swimming pools? Hey, for $19.99, buy this expansion pack, and you guys can get pools and spas again because spas and pools were removed. Oh, hey, you guys want to build basements and housing? We'll buy this housing pack for $19.99. There's not even burglars anymore, guys. You can't even... You remember how the old Sims... If you were sleeping, the little robbery music would play and the guy would sneak around in the bushes and he'd walk in and swipe something. Nope, not anymore. Not even a burglar alarm, guys. Okay? I read a review of an of a, of a IGN or GameSpot person who played the game for hours. He tried to kill his Sims for five hours and they got happy because they were, you know, walking around and he couldn't even kill them. The old Sims used to be able to lock them in a room and catch the furniture on fire or drown them in a pool if you really wanted to do that sort of sadistic stuff. Nope, can't do that anymore. Literally, Sims 4 consists of the social factors. Now, have you guys noticed when you're socially, you know, acting with another Sim player how many options there are? That's pretty much what happened. I mean, there's no life progression to these guys. There's nothing. This game is its very hollow now, and I just really never paid attention to that. One of the things about it is that's really unfortunate is the aging process, short of cheats. If you want to do cheats, you can do an anti-age cheat, I think, where none of them will age. Okay, but that's the whole point of Sims 3 when I played it, is I played Bear Ghost from beginning to end until he passed away. It was a very sentimental moment uh, for Bear. You know, he got older and got older, and we even partied until he was a senior, until he finally just passed away and, and moved on, and that's where we wrapped up the series. It was actually a very neat series, and I had a lot of fun with it. Unfortunately, with Sims 4, I just don't feel that they put that much effort. They, don't put that, they didn't put that much time into it. They slapped it out and made it into what it is now, and unfortunately, it's just it's, it's, it's bad. It's all bad, guys. Because I created the Family Game Nights crew and they've already died and moved on. Just because somebody else in my household was playing the game. So you know what I thought I was going to do? I was like, man, I'm gonna, I got another idea. Maybe I'll create Officer DB for my GTA 4 Let's Play and have him walking around. Guess what? You can't even be a police officer anymore. Yeah, so um, by the time you get a career, you can't even get through life completing it before your person dies and moves on or if you play as another family or something like that also another thing is for example like right now loading screen you can't even go here without loading screens right so as i'm playing this person right now that means that whoever lives here is aging look at that guy down there he's got freaking gray hair already okay look at all these houses you know these people are or are, are, there's only three people here now that's it. Everybody's, like, passed away. Let's go back to this neighborhood, right? Okay. This is the one that uh, Brianna created. Look at it. She's an old lady now. The other guy's dead. I'm not sure what's up with that guy. Okay. Let's see. What else we got? Look at that. That lady's old. I'm about ready to pass pass away. Nobody even lives there anymore. Nobody even is here at these houses anymore. Look at this guy. This guy's about to die too. And that's the new family that Brianna just created. All these people that have little gems above their head, they're they're old and moving on. It's uh it's really unfortunate, guys, but eventually after you play so much of this game, <laughs> Eventually, all of your neighbors are going to pass away and move on, and there's going to be nobody else. You're going to have to create more Sims and put them in all these houses. It's 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 kind of all bad, guys, and I really don't know what to do with this series now. I was really having some fun with it, but it's going to be a royal pain, you know, to uh, continually make more characters and add them into the towns. Because, I mean, you don't want to have a party and have nobody around anymore, right? I mean, that's... It's... I mean, look at this. There's nobody to chat with anymore. I used to have like three pages of people to chat with, and now there's these three people. That's it. 
That's it. Everybody's died and moved on. That's all there is now, guys. It's 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 really kind of crazy. I mean, they've don't get me wrong. Sims 4 is a great game. They've added some pretty cool features. But honestly, you took away the normal careers. You took away being able to hire bartenders. You took away the adoption service. You can't even adopt kids anymore. You took away um, burglaries and 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 aliens and just ugh. It's really kind of disgusting, if you ask me. So unfortunately, you know, um, I know that you guys were really into this series. It was really popular. I had very high expectations with The Sims 4, but I'm I'm very disgusted with the game. <laughs> <laughs> it's very unfortunate that we lost our entire family. Oh. oh, there's not even cars anymore. That just reminded me. You saw that car drive by? You don't even have cars or garages anymore. Like, those are just there. When your characters go to work, they disappear for the entire day. There's nothing with them. They just completely disappear. Whereas, the old Sims, you can actually go to them with the, at work and see what they're doing. Nope, not this one. It's it's really kind of bad, guys, and I do apologize. There's nothing I can do about it. It's just the flaws in the game, and it's just one of those things. Unless, like I said, I put in a cheat and stop them from aging, but that kind of defeats the purpose of the game. So as of now, guys, I think I will just kind of pause the series until I decide if I even want to play this game anymore or, um, you know really just do anything with it in general because I don't know I just it's just it, it's it's really really bad that they would do something like that but you know it is what it is guys but like I said I think I'm just gonna kind of pause this series and just kind of debate whether or not this is something that I even want to participate in doing anymore because of all the things they added and that was gonna be such a cool feature to be able to get abducted by aliens and to become a cop and and all this other stuff but Hopefully you guys aren't too disappointed with it. Like I said, you know, don't take it out on me. I know there's going to be the people out there that are going to rage hardcore and, and blame it on me or something like that. Then you're going to have the people that are going to be like, hey, dude, just use cheats. And, and it's like, yeah, well, that's kind of defeats the purpose in it. But I don't know. Like I said, guys, I'll have to think about it. I do have other games that are coming out. I do have a lot of great series that I'm going to be playing. Um, I'm sure you guys can find something on my channel that will appease to your eyes, that will appeal that you guys will enjoy to watch. But for now, um, I think Brianna, unfortunately, is a solo household now because there's really no sense in me continually remaking, you know, all these all these different families just to have them pass on because Brianna is going to get on, she's going to play, and I'm going to come back to the Let's Play, and they're all going to be dead again. But, you know, it, like I said, guys, it is what it is. It's unfortunate, but there is the final hamburger cake i don't know why i made that but we're gonna make a garden salad now <laughs> all right guys well i do hope you guys enjoyed some sims 4 gameplay even though the series was short and sweet the rest of the family members have moved on brianna is the last one alive unfortunately and uh like i said it's kind of unfortunate but it is what it is i've had a lot of fun with it like i said i'll have to just maybe if i decide i want to just do a quick series or something you know, we will, but for now, I think we're going to kind of just let things ride and in hopes that, uh, hmm. my theory is not true that they don't try and sell expansion packs that add the things that they took out. Cause if they do, I think they're going to single handedly kill themselves. <laughs> That's not going to be cool. So thank you guys for watching the Sims four. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. And, uh, like I said, if things change or if maybe they, you know, add all these expansion packs then i'm sure i will want to shoot myself in the foot <laughs> all right guys thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed it brianna is going to live a long okay let's scratch that brianna's gonna live a very short life because my real life daughter is going to play and probably she's going to age up and die within a couple hours so take one last look at brianna knights and say goodbye to her she will disappear very soon thank you guys for watching the sims 4 and we'll see you guys in the next video game have a wonderful day everybody